What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. If you could hear the noise behind me, you already know we're back at IAA. Why? Because we won another car. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. Why am I so happy? Because this is literally the worst car I have ever bought in the history of me buying cars. Not just on the channel, ever, period. Complete history, all the way back as far as you can go. This has got to be the worst car I've ever bought. And I'm truthfully excited to bring it to you. Here it is, man, a 1992 Chevy Cavalier. This is pre-airbags, guys. This is before they had airbags. But before we get in that, what do we got back here? We got new tires for the BMW. Listen, I got a set of four tires that are called Champion, or no, they're called GT something, I don't know. Champri, Champrio, Champiro, U-H-P-A-S, whatever. I got a set of four tires for $160. 225, 55 Z rated R16s for the Beamer. $160, that's with shipping for all four tires. I got window regulators in that box for the Beamer. But today we're here to talk about the Chevy. The Chevy. Chevy gang. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know what to do but laugh. I don't know what to do, but look, I'll tell you this. So it's got a set of damn good tires. It's got 88,000 original miles. Unfortunately, this poor car, and this is the reason I bought it, guys, with the situation at hand, I am buying, I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but I, I've bought like 12 cars. I think we now own 12 or 13 cars at this point. And is there a reason behind it? Yes. I want to make sure regardless of what happens financially, I need to know that I've got content that I can bring you guys. I've got to know that I can still produce videos. So while the getting's good, I'm buying anything that I think could be interesting. And this little 92 Cavalier, guys, I have been a Cavalier fan, a diehard Chevy Cavalier fan forever. Like forever. Ever. I love the old, what were they, the Type 2s? The old Type 2s. I love the Z24s, the coupes, the convertibles. I love them all. So when I saw this come up for auction, I knew it wasn't going to go for anything. There's no way this is going to go for anything. Nobody wants one of these cars, man. Nobody wants these cars. Now, it is running. It's running rough, but it's running. I'm thinking that this car has been sitting a very long time I, I don't think this car has been on the road in a cool minute the headliner is gone the dash pad is destroyed the paint is almost non-existent it's turning to rust um, the seats though the interior take aside from the dashboard peeling all right all of this the padding is, is destroyed aside from that and aside from the headliner being like completely shot okay there's really none left the seats are in excellent condition steering wheel the door panels in good condition same here the interior is actually in great shape the body is in good shape bumpers are in good shape the tires are like brand new in fact i'm curious if there's a a, a dot code on this surely that's not correct wow 14th month of 2010 is the DOT code. So that, that confirms my suspicion. In 2010, this car had a new set of tires put on it. That was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, these tires were put on this car. Now they're not cracking that I can see. They're not dry rotted. I'll pop the hood for you real quick. This is a car we could have some fun with. You know, I don't know. Looks like it's leaking a little something right here. Is that coolant? That's coolant. So we definitely need to pop the hood anyway. Damn it. I don't want to shut it off. Obviously, it didn't start. Uh, I don't know if someone put a battery in it. Because that battery doesn't look like it's a decade old. Ugh, okay. Here we go. Up she goes. She's been sitting here idling for a few minutes. We have not test driven it yet. Where is that coolant coming from, I wonder? I wonder. Boy, there's spider webs everywhere under here. Look at this. Look at all the cobwebs and spider webs under here. Yeah, she's she's definitely not running very well. There's the battery. 
I'd love to see a date on it, but I don't. It's called a global power battery. Huh. So it's got pressure on the cooling system. Hopefully it's got coolant in it, but there she is. There she is. It claims 88,000 miles on the odometer. You know, I can't tell you if that's legitimate or not. Uh, who knows? Looks like it had recent spark plugs and a tune-up at some point. It's got oil. You can see the oil blowing around in there. And I know you got to have the uh, car shut off to check the oil properly. It is 90-something uh, degrees today, guys. Like 92 degrees last I checked. It's a hot one. It's a real hot one. Look at all the like mildew and stuff all over it. Same here. I mean, look, you can see how long this car has been sitting by the amount of buildup on the windshield right here. Look at that. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. What do you guys think of the 92 Cavalier, man? I know a lot of you are going to be like, Randy, you're, you're, you're the biggest dummy. <clears throat> Hold on. Kid, I'm trying to keep it family friendly. I don't want to say the K word, but family friendly. I know I'm an idiot. I'm stupid for buying this old Cavalier, but guys, these cars have a special place in my heart for reasons that I truly can't explain other than they take me back. Nostalgia. It takes me back to the day when these were the popular cars, man. These were what people were buying. We're going to have to get going. It is leaking coolant. Not badly, but badly enough that I do want to get it back to the house. Comment what you think below. I'm going to put a plate on this and we're going to attempt to drive it back to AAR. No, 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 no. We're not driving this to AR headquarters. We're going to attempt to drive this back to the other house in Midwest City. Oh, uh, the horn don't work. Nope, horn don't work. All right, guys, let's get on the road. All right, boys and girls, are you ready for this? I am literally sketched out. This car does not look like it's in the greatest of shape. It looks like it's been sitting for a long, long time. But I mean, it's moving. I hope that fuel gauge is right. I don't entirely trust that fuel gauge neither. <laughs> oh man. What do you think? It's moment of truth. Golly, this thing is rough. This thing is rough. It shifted. It shifted again. It's shifting properly. And it's driving straight. No way. <laughs> ah, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, man. This is great. I know you guys are like, man, Randy done lost his mind. The Rona got to him. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Boy, this car smells. This car smells real bad. The temperature, the coolant temperature. I was worried about that, but it's actually dropping. It got up halfway and it dropped, so that's good. It's spitting and sputting a little bit. I can't believe this. We are driving a $250 1992 Cavalier, and the uh, the odometer. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's working. It's working, it's actually rolling over. So the odometer works. This is an 88,000 mile Cavalier. And we are literally on the road with it. Let's see, can we get it up to, let stomp on it. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that's floored, really? <laughs> Zero to 60 in not ever in your wildest dreams. <laughs> yeah, she shifts properly guys, there's 55. We're almost up to 60. Watch it now. Watch yourself. Show me what you're working with. <laughs> uh, th this is great, guys. Th this is great. I, I, I really cannot believe that we just jumped in this $250 1992 time capsule and got on the road, and we're on our way. All right, guys. But to get a few more miles down the road, it's a 15-mile ride home. Let's see how she does. So let me be the first to tell you that I could not be happier with the way this trip is going so far. Thus far, we have not overheated. We haven't busted any radiators, any hoses. We haven't broken down. The car is running, driving, and handling just like... 
well just like a 1992 chevy cavalier should uh the handling is questionable at best um, and that's at no fault of the suspension components it's not that the car is worn out or anything like that it's literally driving riding and handling exactly like a chevy cavalier from this era would it's 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 oh look that's familiar that's the gas station that the bmw broke down at this is the intersection i broke down at <laughs> all right so we have already made it further than the bmw 5 series in a 92 cavalier that i don't think has been driven in 10 years now explain to me how it's running with gas in the tank i don't know maybe to get it going someone put a fuel pump in it maybe somebody cleaned out the tank i don't know how this works i'm assuming this was a charity car but what i can tell you about it is it may be an ugly duckling but it absolutely runs drives and rides very very well there is no clunking banging creaking suspension none of the stuff you would expect from a car this old it literally rides just like a top condition chevy cavalier would truly now we do need to get back to the house we need to go through the glove box and see what's in it and we definitely got to go through the trunk and we also got to see if the battery holds a charge because normally on cars like this you're going to replace the battery but it looks like maybe somebody had put a battery in it so i'm kind of hoping that when we get back to the house the car is just going to fire right back up on its own with no issues hey assuming we don't have any more problems the next clip of this video will be us making it to the house so i lied we are back i just wanted to show you no warning lights nothing it's just running and driving perfectly but it doesn't make it any less sketchy you know what i mean when you're in a construction zone and you're terrified that something could happen if this car dies right here oh you're kidding me come on now i can make it if this car dies right here in this construction zone that's narrowed down to one lane what am i going to do uh because you think i'm getting out in this and pushing it <laughs> hell no so it made it the uh brake light and abs light did come on literally just a couple of miles ago should we shut it off and see if it fires back up no nope. okay so most likely the reason the abs light came on and the brake light came on it's most likely because that battery is so far gone that uh it's just it's killing it so what we got to do now is we got to get these keys off so i'm gonna have to cut these keys off so we can get into the trunk and I'm going to pop the hood. I guess I already did. We'll just make sure that we don't have anything catastrophic happening under there. I don't believe we do. Oh, I can't wait to tell you guys what my intentions are with this. And see what you all think of it. It is hot, guys. I'm not lying. Like, I am sweating profusely. I should have waited to took a shower instead of this morning. I should have done it when I got home this evening. Um, honestly, I didn't know I was gonna win this car. Yeah, good pressure on the cooling system. I mean, I was hopeful that I was gonna win it, but I didn't know that I was gonna win it. You know what I mean? And then I won it. Whew, she's warm. It's full of oil. The oil is clean too, that's crazy. Okay, uh, one big thing on these old 2.2s is you need to smell for gasoline. The fuel injectors are notorious for leaking. The O-rings go bad and the injectors are back here. I've done these a million times. Head gaskets go bad. I've done those a million times. It's got a new serpentine belt. You can see the writing on it. So, I mean, somebody took care of this car. We haven't checked the transmission yet. Let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, let's see what the trans fluid looks like. It looks like trans fluid. It's uh, light brown. So probably hasn't been changed. Definitely due for a service, but the transmission shifts flawlessly. Guys, I know I say this about everything, but uh, I am literally blown away by how good this car drives down the road. Now it does run a little rough. We probably need to run fuel injector cleaner through it. Probably need to run a couple good tanks of gas through it, but that, a battery, 
And then, of course, I got to tell you what my plans are for it. And then, of course, I want to hear what you guys think. Obviously, these white painted hubcaps, that's got to go. That's got to go. That's That looks horrible. But I really think that if you put a headliner in this car, clean it up, put a headliner in it, put the damn hubcaps back to factory, or find a set of used, they shouldn't cost more than a few dollars, set of factory hubcaps and a battery, you put a paint job on it too, and this car would look damn near like a time capsule. All right, we'll focus on trying to get it started again here in just a few minutes. Right now, the main thing I wanna see is what's in the trunk, if anything. Whoa, nothing? Really? Nothing. Uh, not even the spare tire? Look, it looks brand new in here. Are you guys seeing this? <laughs> it's like, I'm serious, this car is like a freaking time capsule, guys. It's perfect. Well, in the trunk, anyway, it's, per it's perfect. Oh, man. Well, I guess I need to try to put a jump on it. It was having a little difficulty firing up earlier. Um, it could be bad connection at the battery itself. Um, I had to really mess with the jump starter earlier to get it to, uh, to jump. So there's a very good possibility that, uh, yeah, they're rusted. They're really rusty. So it could be just a bad connection. So I'll probably have to take these off and clean them. Uh, uh, probably shouldn't jump it from the brake booster, but you know, what the hell, right? Let's see if that'll, see if that'll work. Yeah, okay, so the battery is dead. It's only got 6.7 volts. So another battery down should give it juice and it should pop up here 12 volts there we go boy that jumper pack is hot it's been sitting in the sun manual windows there are no power options on this car at all there we go there we go and all the lights went out that's what i was thinking it's the battery there's it's it's dragging the alternator down too much uh look at this old jbc unit right here comes on but no sound and I've already tried messing with everything I can't get any uh, can't get any sound out of it at all air conditioning uh, the blower works check the heat oh wow okay let's not check the heat Woo! blower works air conditioning light comes on but uh, yeah AC does not function on this let's go back under the hood and listen to her run she is you could hear her spitting and sputting guys let's see if you can hear this Now I know sitting here listening to it, you're hearing it and it's like, man, that thing's running awful. Truthfully guys, as soon as you hit the gas and take off, it's running perfect. It runs perfect. I'd almost bet it just needs to, it needs to be driven. Like it really needs to be driven. Look at these tires. I mean, a full set of tires that look this good, guys. Now, I don't know how much I trust these tires. Uh, I'm gonna look for another build date. <sighs> Maybe on a, I think these tires are on the uh, are inside out from the other ones, so the build date's not going to be on them. Let's see, 19 of 10. Yeah, they're all from 2010. Good Lord, have mercy. So realistically, the tires should be replaced. You shouldn't be riding around on tires that are uh, 10 years old. Six years is about the normal lifespan for a set of tires. So uh, I think I'm going to go cool off, get out of this heat. You can see the alternator is charging. That's good news. I'm gonna have to pull that battery because that battery is no bueno. So I have to go get a replacement for that. And then we'll talk about why I bought this car and what my plans are for this car. We'll see what you guys think about it. So the next question is, what are my plans with the Cavalier? Well, listen to that echo, echo, empty house. Sorry about the echo guys. So what are my plans with the Cavalier? Um, I've had a few run through my, my mind here and at the end of the day, I, I, I don't think there's any reason to do anything crazy to it. Number one, it's, it's important to keep in mind, this car is not gonna be a good flip car. This is not a car you purchase with the intent of making big profits on or probably any profits at all. This was a content car. It was hard for me to believe that after all these years, I see a Cavalier pop up 
in the auction. Like, I haven't seen one of these cars in such a long time. And to see one listed as a run and drive, I had to have. And for 250 bucks, $425 out the door is what it cost me. I, I couldn't, I just, I couldn't not buy the car. You know what I mean? So where do we go from here? At this point, as I said, I don't think there's really any reason to do a whole lot or anything crazy to it. I think we should put this car back to its original condition, which means taking those white hubcaps and getting rid of them and putting the right silver ones on there, possibly replacing the tires, maybe definitely replacing the battery, definitely going to need a paint job, definitely going to need a headliner, definitely going to need a dashboard or dash pad, assuming we can even find one. Now, this is where I'm going to kind of reach out to some of you guys out here watching this video. I have already gotten online and tried to source a dashboard. I want it the same color. Won't do me any good to get a gray one or a black one. It's going to totally throw off the whole interior of the car. I need that like tan colored dashboard desperately. Uh, doesn't need to have the cluster, doesn't need to have any of the accessories, just I need the dashboard or the dash pad for this car. So if any of you out there can find one, locate one, let me know because I would love to take this car, repaint it gold and make it look good again and maybe sell it. I, I, I don't know, you know, the, the, the goal right now is to let's put it back to its former glory. Let's get it running better, let's get it cleaned up, let's make it look good again, and then we can figure out what we're gonna do with it afterwards. Now, in the next video, be sure to come back, we're gonna break out the pressure washer. We are going to have a time with the engine bay and with the body. We're gonna do our best to really clean it up and make it look a little better. It's not gonna look good, guys, but we can at least make it look a little bit better. So what do you think of the Cavalier? Do you think it's worth making it look like it used to. Personally, I think it is. A hundred percent, I think we need to make this car look like it used to, look like it should. The only reason it looks so bad is it's obvious that it sat in the sun for a long, long time and just baked, man. It just cooked out in the sun. And I hate seeing a good old Chevy Cavalier like this in the condition it's in. I think we can bring it back to life and that's the point. This car is strictly video content. So before you all jump on that bandwagon of, oh, you're stupid, you didn't make any money, I'll make my money back on YouTube. Well, be prior to the crash of uh, YouTube money, I would have made a profit. Hopefully we should be able to recoup what we need to build this car back to its factory condition from the video content and you guys watching. So like I said before, drop your comments down below. If you enjoy the content, please do me a huge favor. It only takes a second of your time to push that thumbs up button and it does more to support the channel than you probably even realize. Just take a moment, hit that thumbs up button. Share the video with your friends if you or your friends may want to see an old Chevy Cavalier brought back to her former glory. I truly appreciate all of you. Remember, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I hope all of you are safe. I hope your families are safe. I hope everybody is healthy. And uh, hopefully we can all get through this healthy and with our finances intact together. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again so much for watching. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.